Hey everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to generate dynamic PDF documents using Flask and the template system in Flask Jinja. So there are a million ways to generate PDFs in Python, so this is just one way to do it. But all the ways that you could do it are going to be pretty similar to what I'm going to show you in this video. Basically the only uh, difference is what library you use. So for this video I'll be using a library called PDF kit which depends on another library called WK HTML to PDF so uh, here's the pip page for PDF kit uh, it's a little difficult to install for some systems I had issues installing it but if you uh, follow the instructions you should get it eventually so um, you install PDF kit you install WK HTML to PDF and then you also may have to install um, this virtual X server. I'll put the links to both of these pages in the description below so you can uh, read the instructions to install. But if you have trouble installing this library, you can always install some other uh, HTML to PDF library. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take this HTML template. So this is a Jinja template. You see it has the uh, curly braces for the variables that will get substituted. And I'm going to turn this into a PDF document. So as you can see right here, it's HTML. But what I want to do is pass in variables for these two things, name and location, and generate a PDF document from that. And I'll be doing this in Flask. So let me get started with that. Um, the first thing I need to do is import some Flask stuff. So I'll do from Flask, import Flask. I'll need render template and make response. So the reason why I need render template is because I'm taking the uh, HTML template, I'm going to replace all of the values with the variables, and then I'm going to pass that HTML that gets rendered to the PDF kit to be converted into a PDF. So I'm not actually generating an HTML page for uh, the person visiting the URL to see. I'm actually taking that HTML and sending it to the PDF converter and then I will get back a PDF file. And then I need make response because I need to specify that the response is going to be a PDF because by default it's just HTML. So I'll need to create my own custom response. And in addition to the Flask stuff, I'll import PDF kit. And then I'll do the basic Flask setup. So underscore underscore name and if name is main okay so I'm only gonna have one route in this and this route is going to be really simple I'm going to take in two custom arguments here I'm going to take in a name and I'm going to take in a location so the route will look something like this. Um, let's see, it would be 127.0.01.5000. Name could be my name, Anthony, location. My location is Las Vegas. So that would be a route, and that would get passed to the HTML, which would then eventually get converted into the PDF. So I'll call this um, PDF template. It takes in a name and a location. And then what I want to do is I want to uh, render the HTML first. So I'll create a variable and I'll call it um, uh, rendered. And it's going to be render template. And the name of my template, so PDF template dot HTML. And it's in my templates folder in my directory that I'm working in. And then I'll pass in the variables. So name is going to be name and location is location. And then now what I need to do is I need to use PDF kit. So PDF kit will convert this HTML into a PDF. So to do this, I'll say PDF is equal to a PDF kit. And then I need to generate a PDF from a string. And the string of course is HTML. So this string is rendered because render template just returns HTML. Normally you return this HTML directly, but I'm actually gonna work with it. So I have rendered here, and I pass it to the PDF from string method. 
and then it has the second argument false. This basically means I want to keep this PDF in memory for now because I'm not uh, sending it to the client yet. I have to do uh, one more thing before I can send it to the client. And that one more thing is create the custom response. So response.headers, I need to specify two headers. The first one is content type. So typically when you render a page, the content type is going to be text slash HTML. And that tells your browser that it's looking at an HTML uh, file. Uh, another option could be text slash CSS or uh, I believe application slash JS for JavaScript files, I think, or maybe text JS. I, I can't remember, but um, it's basically along, along those lines. So for PDF, there's a different content type and that content type is application slash PDF. So this tells the browser that it's about to receive a PDF file and it will try to handle whatever it gets as a PDF file. If you don't actually send a PDF file, it's going to be confused. But in this case, I'll actually send it. So I have the content type. The second thing I need to do is the content uh, disposition. So content disposition. And this tells the browser how to handle the file and what the file name is. So um, I'm going to use inline. I can also use attachment. So inline is when you click on the link, it loads the PDF in your browser. So that's inline. And attachment means when you click on a link or just go to a link, uh, it tries to download it. So I'll demonstrate both, but the first one will be inline. And I'll call the file name. Um, output.pdf. Let's keep it simple. And then that's it. So just those two headers being changed. And then I have to return the response. Actually, no, I forgot one thing, the most important thing. I need to make a response using the PDF. So response is going to be make response PDF. So this response is where these responses come from. So I'm making a response using the PDF here, and then I'm modifying that response to have the headers of um, the content type application PDF and content disposition inline and the output.pdf is the file name. So now that I have this response created, I can now return this response and I'll have a generated PDF, hopefully. So let's take a look at the um, template again and I'll start up my server. Okay, so it's working. And I'll just copy the link that I uh, created here. So let's go here and see if it works. So it's a bit slow because it has to actually generate a PDF. It's not as simple as just returning HTML. But now that it's generated, we see here that I have a PDF um, that has my name, Anthony, and my location, Las Vegas here. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but Chrome is displaying it in PDF mode, which is exactly what I wanted. So now let me change it to attachment so you can see how it works. I'll save this, make sure it's saved. And I'll change the arguments. So I'll say uh, the name is David and the location will be Seattle. So now it's loading. It's slowly converting the HTML to a PDF. And you can see down here, it just downloaded a PDF file. If I click it, it opens up and I see your name is David and your location is Seattle. So pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, it didn't take that much code to get this working. And uh, you can see how this can be useful. Uh, there are a lot of times when you have to generate a dynamic PDF or something. So if you ever have to do it, you would just do it along these lines. It's really simple to do in Flask. Basically, the idea is you convert um, a, an HTML template, which could also have CSS in it, um, to a PDF. And you take that PDF and make a custom response using it and then return that response. So very simple stuff. And uh, I think it's something that'd be useful for a lot of people. So that's all I want to show you for 
uh, creating the PDF. And speaking of PDFs, I have a PDF here that I created. It's a cheat sheet for Flask. So um, this is available to everyone watching this video. So if you want it, just click on the link in the description below to get the cheat sheet and you'll be able to download this. And hopefully that will help you out when you're uh, writing your Flask apps. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about generating a PDF, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.